Hey, hello, welcome back. So I am going through and I am cleaning up my oil pastel sticks. I just got done with a painting. And so these are some of the sticks I was using. So um, real easy to clean these up and I thought I'd just make a quick video on this. Um, as you can see, as you use, um, use the oil pastels, they start getting dirty by using by the other colors that you're using along with. And so what I found the best way and the easiest way is just to grab a paper towel and just um, use the friction of that towel and just kind of rub it around all over the stick until it is nice and cleared up just like that and so I will spend time here and I will go through each one and um, I actually enjoy this process doing this um, gets me kind of motivated to uh, do the next painting and uh, just get it decently clean like that and then I go back and put it where it belongs all right so um, yeah really easy process now um, this doesn't take much time you can use those um, alcohol wipes as well I've done that but I find that the towel the paper towel is honestly the best the best the fastest way to do it and then you just grab a couple pieces of paper towel and just kind of wipe wipe off the excess color that accumulates and then just put it back where it belongs all right and uh, it doesn't matter what brand they all kind of clean up pretty well pretty easily um, you just got to spend the time to uh, actually do it but like I said I actually enjoy this process of, uh, of cleaning up my oil pastel sticks so anyway just want to make a quick video so I did a painting um, recently I didn't make a tutorial of it um, just because I just sometimes I just you know want to want to paint and not uh, you know just kind of zone out and paint and not worry about making a tutorial or filming everything that I do um, but I'll show you here in a second here when I'm uh, getting close to done on some of these sticks and it doesn't have to be perfectly clean just you know just get most of that stuff off of there all right i'll even go through um some of these that will collect get dirty just from sitting in the tray and uh just kind of wipe them down a little bit get them nice and nice and bright again ready to go for a fresh painting but i'll show you that new painting here i just finished it uh last night actually i worked on it and i was able to finish out and uh it took me about three hours to work and um it was somewhat of a challenging one. I didn't think it would be, but it ended up being something of a challenge, which was really enjoyable. Um, and I'll show you that here in a sec. Actually, I'll go ahead and show you here right now, since you probably want to look at it. But yeah, this painting right here. Okay, so this is somewhere in Colorado, Arrowhead Village, Colorado. I don't know the um, where that uh, where that is exactly, but I found the reference photo on PaintMyPhoto.com. And uh, you can actually go there, create a free account, and you can find just literally thousands of reference images to use for your painting projects. But yeah, this one uh, turned out really well. I wanted to do another winter painting, and um, and uh, I really like the way this one kind of turned out. I like the the challenge for me was all the different angles of and the shadows here, and all the different angles of the landscape and the different elevations that it provided for me, and then the shadows and the light. Uh, the strong light and um, so I just wanted to show you that and um, I really like how it turned out one thing I did is I used this uh, neo this crema neo pastel which I really love this color it's one of my favorite overall sticks um, and it's hard to find um, I have to go to a different art store another Blick store but further away that's actually larger to actually find this color and sometimes I have it in stock and when I when I see it, I'll grab like a couple of them because I know I'm going to use it a lot. It is a great color for highlights, especially if like a sun lit area, because um, it's it's very bright, it's soft, but it leans slightly to the yellow. So I use that really a lot in this area right here, the snow, where I felt like the sun was kind of kind of highlighting this part of the snow the most. And then I used, um, where is it? I used this kind of this pinkish color here to put in some of the warmer highlights of the snow there and then I was using a lot of these um, lavenders lavender colors versus the uh, 
this is a Van Gogh. So I was using a lot of these for some of the shadows and I used several different blues um, anyway. And then a lot of light gray and then some of the sun white was up here kind of on the front and some of the trees to kind of really pop those brights and highlights. So this was um, a, lot of, a lot of fun to paint and I just want to show you this one. So there's no tutorial on this, but I do love winter paintings and maybe sometime in the near future I'll do another winter tutorial if you guys um, enjoy it like I do. So we'll get some up close photos of her. So this looks like some sort of cabin or something, maybe a ski lodge or something. Right, I signed it. Got like a frozen little creek that's going through it and real thick, heavy snow. I wanted a scene that had really thick, heavy snow and this one was, was the scene. Okay, so there you go. There's those, you can see all the variations of blues and that pink in there and just to kind of get it to sparkle. And I used this paper here, this, um, this uh, uh, which I'm gonna do a tutorial on later um, I use this um, Claire Fontaine uh, mixed media paper, which is actually really good, nice paper to work with, and that's what's that's what's on that right there. And um, so I just used it uh, first time uh, yesterday, and I really like it. And um, like I said, I was able to get lots of layers that, that didn't have to use a fixative, so it ended up working out really well, and I'm very pleased. And so anyway, quick video. Don't want to make it too long, but and I, anyways, I'm going to get back to my work here of cleaning up my sticks. And um, hope you guys are having a great day. I'm uploading um, all five parts of my latest tutorial about the water, the lake scene. So that's currently uploading. I got part three and part four uploading. Those should come out uh, kind of the rest of the week. I kind of do like one part a, one part a day just to kind of keep it going. So all right, y'all have a good day and I'll see you later.